Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's Alexander Helly 123 here and it's time for yet another Walker's Crisps Footy Favourites review and today, as you can see from the title, it is Steak and Ale Penalty. It's meant to say penalty, but it's a pie, steak and ale pie. These guys, I tell you, the think tank's unbelievable. Very quick one today, two main reasons. One, because these crisps were out there for the public to purchase between the months of May, June and July. I picked these up last week in September. <laughs> so the expiry date. Oh, they're out of date by four days. And when I purchased them, they were just in date. I think I'll survive eating crisps that are four days old. But let's open the bag immediately. Let's not waste any more time. Precious seconds where I could be having these delicious crisps. Now the re reason <laughs> that I'm going particularly fast with this one is because I did steak and al pie 10 years ago for Al Murray. He, if you're not in the UK, is a British comedian and they had celebrities basically and he was the celebrity that endorsed that version. His name is Al Murray. So these are going to be just the same and the flavour they're going to quote most closely resemble is beef and onion. They're going to be like beef and onion. There's a potato chip, very pale, not much seasoning on there ladies and gentlemen. Got my big lights on. I know. And if you're thinking, that surprised face, oh wow, is he really surprised by these crisps? Is the flavour something completely different and not what he expected? The answer is no. I was just doing it for comedic effect. They taste just like beef and onion. But you know, when I was a lad, I hated beef and onion. And I don't really know why, because I like beef and onion if I had it as part of a like braising steak for example, ooh a bit of braising steak, something like that. But I never like beef and onion crisp. These though, they're good. But can you taste the ale? Of course you can. <laughs> Just having a look at the ingredients here. Steak pie seasoning. <coughs> They are quite nice. Ooh, a little pizza. <laughs> Have you ever had it? Where you inhale and a tiny bit of crisp just like flies down your throat. Holy shit, I'm choking on that. Jesus. <laughs> the flavour's not that strong. They're the four days out of date, but that's not making a difference, I can assure you. They taste faintly of steak. There's not loads of flavour, but they are quite moreish. But I've done this flavour before, but I did tell you guys that the one that I didn't have was sour cream and chilli, and that disappointed me. Well, I checked in the cupboard today, actually it turns out I do have that flavour. That'll be coming tomorrow, or the day after, I'm recording this on Wednesday the 15th, you'll probably see it on Friday the 17th. The one I've not got is the chicken tikka masala, but they did that for flavours of the decades about two or three years ago. But I can't remember if Walker's ever had a, a sour cream flavour. Sour cream and chilli sounds amazing, so... I've got high hopes. Those Walker's sensations, I had a few of those a couple of years ago, and they were quite nice. I don't know if there's a particular sour cream and chilli. It's going to be interesting, because those are two very different flavours, a bit of heat. And you know the sour cream to lighten it up and make it mild. What's that's going to be like? I don't know. I did see the advert today, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, for the local favourites: fish and chips, Madras curry, interesting, and chicken burrito. And there's another one. Hoping to get my hands on it in the next few weeks. As for these, they're decent, but the flavour of steak is in the background and I wish it was more in the forefront. They're decent. I can't believe how many more of these silly 
well because crisp reviews are going to come if I'm going to manage to grab the local favourites so there's at least another five to come between now and the end of the year something a little left of feel that we always do on the channel very silly and uh, please do bear with me ladies and gentlemen just settling into the new room I've got my pillar here to lay back on the microphone is now visible which it never has been before in my videos it's a work in progress thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye